Good evening, everyone. Uh, just thought I'd give a quick update here on the um, entrance to the intermodal yard. Uh, I think when I finished last time, I had had the concrete entranceway and the fence was up. But I've done a, uh, a little bit extra here. Uh, you can see I have the guard shack and guard gate installed. And I'll try and get a close up here. Uh, I've just got a guy sitting there right now standing up there to kind of give you an idea of scale, but it looks pretty good, I think. Um, the guardhouse I decided to put back here in the corner. Um, I was originally going to place it here, right in front of the shrubbery, but um, it didn't, didn't allow for a lot of room to get the trucks in and out. Um, it was going to look a little bit too sharp there, so I've moved it. Um, I've gone ahead and put dirt around the side. Um, I don't have it completely finished yet. I've gotten some good suggestions about putting some lichen and uh, so, some um, vines and things up on the fence so it looks a little bit more like uh, things are growing on it. So that was a good idea I received from one of my subscribers. Definitely going to do that. Um, so that's that's the entrance to the intermodal yard. Uh, I'm going to put up some signs and things eventually. I've got a little parking area back here uh, with a, uh, a barricade right now. Uh, that's just sitting there. Nothing's permanent yet, so, um, you know, open to change. Still haven't done anything with the uh, tunnel portals. Um, I was at a train show this past week and uh, was looking for some but didn't really see anything. I'm going to have to custom build them because of the distance that I need um, inside clearance on there. Uh, got a couple of, oh, yeah, this um, little loading ramp here was something I've just put in and it's not permanent either but I'm thinking that's the best place for it at the moment. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put uh, either uh, an extension of that road back to here so I can get trucks in there and back them up to the loading ramp um, or I'm going to make it a gravel path. Haven't quite decided yet. Um, you know, what, Whatever I decide will be easy to do so uh, I have le left that yet to do here. Um, I was going to put that over here um, on the siding, the same where the silos are, but I really couldn't get it in there uh, to look right. Um, <laughs> I think I've received a couple of votes on the silos, so I'm going to put them there um, next to the other ones, um, obviously finish that off and, and build up around the base. So that is uh, left to do yet. Um, Let's see, oh, back on the hill over here by the church, I've done some, uh, some scenery in here, kind of finished that off. Um, the, the green, sort of two-tone green ground cover that you see there is just very fine turf. And how I installed that, um, I've got a little path up there going up to the porch. And this is all, it's all cemented in place now, so, you know, that's not going to go anywhere. I've um, got some gravel over in front of the maintenance shed for the cemetery, a little bit of dirt in the back. Uh, but what I, how I put that on was I just um, removed all the buildings and I uh, put down some white glue full strength and used a paintbrush to just spread it evenly across the surface there. And I took my um, darkest fine turf that I have and I sprinkled um, you know, kind of an uneven layer of the darkest turf down first. And then I came back with a lighter color of turf and spread that over the top. And it dried very well in there. And you can, I don't know if I can get close enough to show you. I don't think so. But it looks like grass. I mean, it's, it's really nice. And then um, I came back over the top of that, uh, put in a gravel road back here, um, an area to park next to the church and a little driveway here next to the house. Um, I still have this building, the blue and red one that you see there. Um, that was originally going to be my entrance, um, you know, entrance shack to the intermodal yard. Um, but now I've got an extra building to put somewhere, so don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, suggestions would be, would be welcome. Uh, so some of the vehicles I just have around here, seeing how they fit uh, for placement and such. Um, let's see. Oh, another thing I've done, uh, the three buildings that you see in the center of the picture there, uh, they now have the foundation underneath, and I put some hairpin fence 
let me get over the uh, telephone pole here. I put some hairpin fence along the back so somebody comes flying out the back door they won't go down the hill. Um, I still have to fill in underneath that yet uh, but I think that turned out pretty well so it looks like you know at least now they're on some foundations. Uh, it makes the front entrances look better as well. You can see on that first one how the door now appears to have an entry um, foyer underneath it. Uh, same with the second one there, it's not quite as evident. And then this one here on the end, there's a little step up to the door and it looks better with a foundation. So that's all I've done in the town, uh, other than, you know, as I mentioned up here on the hill with the scenery. Um, I'm going to put um, individual, I, well, I think individual foundations um, under these three buildings here, over here, the larger ones. And then I'll probably do a single foundation under these. Um, my plan there is to try and match it up with the side of the firehouse here and paint it the same, uh, the same color of gray so it kind of ties in. Um, you know, these, these are a little bit big, so, um, but give me, give me your opinion. Um, you know, should I put a individual foundation under each one or should I run a single one like I did over here? Uh, I don't think there's much left to do in the factory area, the warehouse area rather. It's pretty well finished. Uh, I think I am going to place the, uh, the little un unloading ramp here and, um, you know, I think it's a little too small to, to service both tracks, but I think, you know, it'll, it'll definitely service one here. And obviously with that ground covering, it's not setting level. But anyway, uh, just a short update tonight. Just wanted to show you progress here. Um, I think that's about it for tonight, and I appreciate all the comments and all the subscriptions and for uh, having patience and sticking with me on this. And uh, I think that's it for tonight. hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you soon.